This video is about how to convert bit to word and vice versa word to bit in a Mitsubishi Mailsoft GX Works 2. Hello, welcome back. This is Gerd Zeller from Zeller Press Control System and here I show you how it works. So if you want to write a bit to a word, you simply use a normal open instruction with your designated address. In this case it will be the M0 and you just write this to the coil of the word, let's say D10 bit 0. So you write actually D10.0 that moves your bit M0 over to the bit 0 in the word d10 you can continue do this as much as you want you don't need to use a following number on your bits you can use any bit you want i'm just gonna make it in a straight line so it's easier to explain so make this to the d10.1 and if you want to put this to let's say your tenth or 11th bit you have to be aware of that in the Q series everything is in hex code so if you want to say let's move let's say the M10 to your 10th bit of your uh, word D10 you actually have to move it to D10 dot A which is your 10th bit in the world d10 so now if you want to move a word to a bit there is the instruction move where you can move your uh, you have to put a instruction in front of the move instruction otherwise it won't work there we go so let's say we move the word D10 to the 16 bits starting from M20. So we write actually K4M20 that moves the D everything which in which is included in the D10 moves it over to the 16 bits starting from the M20. So if we now make this in simulation, just convert everything and start the simulation. And I already prepared a watch window down here. So let's say if we just set the M1 to 1, we will see that the D 10 here changes to the value 1 which is the first bit so if we take if we put this to 0 and we turn on the m1 which goes over to the second bit in the d10 which should change the d10 to the value 2 which it actually does and if we make both high the m1 m0 and the m1 the d10 will change to the decimal value 3 and also if we put both to 0 again through this move instruction you can see if the d10 gets the value 1 also the m20 which is the first bit of this move instruction right here from the k4 m20 so the the value 1 gets moved over to each individual bits of or starting at M20. So if we put the value 2 in the D in the D10, uh, we will see the M21 switching on. And I have to do this with the M1 because it gets overwritten. So we have the value D, we have the value 2 in the D10, which puts it over to the second bit 
in the instruction K4M20. And if we continue doing this all the way through, you can see all the individual bits getting converted into the world. And from the world, they get converted back to this move instruction here to the individual flags that you got set on here, starting with the M20. And this was the explanation on how to convert bit to world and world to bit in the Mitsubishi Melsoft GX Worlds 2. Thank you for watching.